Good evening and welcome to my video on the Unify Easy Setup app. I do want to do this video since my lab is still down and I don't know if I told you the story about uh, having to change some electrical things out and I'm almost done with that. We started getting some torrential rains last week and the roof starts leaking down a pipe in the wall down to where my lab is going to be. So you don't want to mix water and electricity. I have called the roofing company. I'm waiting for them to come out. I have a feeling since the roof is under warranty, they probably shuffled us to the bottom of the work list. I am going to call tomorrow. Started on this. This is going to be the Unify Easy Setup app. This app has got some really cool things and, and I, I do want you to see it. So the first thing you want to do is if you're on a Google device or an Android device, is you want to go to the Play Store. If you're on an Apple device, you can go to the App Store, do a search for Unify, and this it's the top app that came up here, Unify Easy Setup. So we're going to open this and install it. Go ahead and open the app. You'll notice when you open the app, there are two choices. Controller mode, and then there's a, a, a selection below that, that says, I don't have a controller. If you don't have a controller, but you do have Unify access points that you've just purchased, and you want to take those out of the box and configure them, you can do that with this application without a controller. I haven't done that yet. I am going to do that as soon as my my lab gets powered back on. But for now, I am going to show you the controller mode. And also, there's a checkbox there that says, Remember My Choice. So you can have this app open up either in I Don't Have a Controller or Controller Mode. We're going to put in the web address of my internal controller. Port 8443 is the default port for the web interface, and I'm going to leave that the way it is. And right now I am entering a password, but when you see the video, hopefully I'll be able to obscure that. It's not that I don't trust you all, uh, but I don't even like giving out my lab passwords. You can check the remember password box. I don't do that. I cycle my passwords frequently and try to use complex complex passwords. And I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of password managers, but your mileage may vary. And as I uh, age and maybe I can't remember passwords, maybe, you know, maybe my perception of password managers will change. And you never know. But right now, I don't use a password manager. So we log in. The first time you log in and you've added a controller, it's going to ask you for an alias. And we'll just call this one Willie. And now you can see this is the dashboard. And this, this is really nice. It shows us that on the WLAN we have one device. And if we touch that, it shows our Unify AP Pro. Um, we can locate it, restart it, upgrade it. And if I touch the access point itself, I can get an overview. And it tells me how many users, how many guests. I can get MAC address, versions, IP address, all sorts of useful information. I can look at the users that are on. I can see their uh, signal quality there on the left-hand side. And if I had any guests, which... Uh, my children do connect as guests on a voucher-based system because they have to do their homework and their chores to get free reign of the internet, which is based on vouchers that expire. I think I have 30-minute and one-hour vouchers. It's a pretty good system. So then you can go to back to the dashboard. The dashboard shows us those same six users. At the top, there are three icons. One says WAN. If I had a USG... 
it wouldn't say unknown. It would say okay. If I had a unify switch here, then the LAN would also have a green okay. I can also see active and pending devices that fall under those categories. So another really cool thing, I, I actually use this app every day and the controllers that I connect to have multiple sites. So if I had multiple sites or access to multiple sites on this controller, when I click current site, I would see all of those and I can scroll through and get all of my device information, uh, see who's connected. And I will tell you that, that even if some people think this app isn't polished and ready for prime time. It is leaps and bounds above trying to take this phone and turn it sideways and actually log into the web interface of the controller. So kudos to Ubiquity for this. And if you haven't checked it out, I suggest you do. I'd like to thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, please subscribe. And we'll see you at the next video.